So I'll do a little update on the Highlander build. And in this video, I wanna go over the Steve Henry modifications to the plane and the parts that he makes. So the first thing I did was install the baggage and the floor panels. Back panel, there's two pieces that make up the baggage. There's two little side panels, one on either side of the cockpit and the front one where your feet go. And then I've got the fin and the rudder on. The horizontal stabilizers are set. I set the incidents last night. Here is the bracket, the front bracket for that. Next thing I gotta do is brace the whole tail assembly. Get it nice and straight level and build the flying wires for it. But I wanna go over the parts. I just got a couple packages from Steve Henry. So here is the header tank that he makes. It's a five gallon tank. It's aluminum, he welds it. It's much bigger than the factory header tank. It's pretty nice. Here's the, uh, I also got kind of the tail gear assembly mocked up. This is the Super Stoll air shock and tail assembly. The tail wheel's coming, I got that in order. I just ordered the main landing gear and that suspension from TK1 Racing. Let's see what else I got. So this is the extended wing and flap kit that Steve puts together. The tubes are for the wing spars. There's extra ribs make the flaps longer. The ailerons stay the same length. The flaps get extended to about 100 inches, he said. Here's some leading edge material for the flap. And there's a couple extra ribs for the wings and the flaps there. So that's the extension kit. It's gonna add 18 inches onto each wing. So the wingspan will be about 35 feet. Let's see, I got a list so I go through everything here. I also got, I don't have them yet, but they're coming. The, I'll have fiberglass leading edge cuffs for the wing and Steve recommended a custom aileron leading edge. Let me see if I can show you the difference. So the flaps and the ailerons have the same airfoil profile. So I got a picture of my phone of his plane, Yeehaw 6. Let's see if this will work. So here's, that is the factory rounded uh, leading edge on the flaps and ailerons. The flaps stay the same, they use that leading edge. But here's what he does with his ailerons. He kind of makes the front of them straight and he says makes the airplane roll so much nicer. They're actually much more similar to the Super Stoll type aileron and the, that kind of system. Uh, let's see what else I got. Where did I set my list down? One of the other things he recommended was welding these little bushings on to the landing gear mount points. It's this little bushing here. There's one on each side of the mount points. I actually won't use the middle one. There's a front one, middle, rear, and then one below the spar or the lift struts, I should say. This one is for mounting floats or the tricycle landing gear. The back one I will use, middle one I won't, and the front one I'll use for the TK1 racing landing gear assembly. I did get the front tabs welded to the front here. There'll be a window that I put in. I got the rear tabs also. He recommended both of these, and this is what he's got on his plane. He's flying right now, Yeehaw 6. I also got the elevator push-pull tube guides welded below the fuselage here. So they actually run below the baggage floor pan, and then they'll come up here at this bell crank assembly. So what that does is gets rid of this cover. Otherwise the elevator push-pull tube runs right through the floor in the baggage area, so I will not need this. I don't know why my kit ended up with one. 
because they welded at the factory those elevator points below. And then I also got the heavy duty V brace for landing gear. This is it right here. And that will work with the TK1 shocks and landing gear. So that's pretty much all the, I call them Steve Henry modifications to the plane. But yeah, that's just a little update of how far I've got. So if anyone's got any comments or questions, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer them.